What's going on, you guys? Welcome back to another episode of Burley Fishing. Today, I've got an unboxing for you. I received this box for free, kind of pumped, because I like free stuff, as I'm sure you guys do too. That's why we do giveaways and all that stuff. Stay tuned for the next one. Uh, this one is from Fall Creek Supply. So if you guys want to check them out, go to fallcreeksupply.com, see what they're all about. I'm going to show you what I think they're all about. I think this is like a new concept box that they're sending to me. So the owner of the company, Chris Jackson, actually reached out to me and said, hey, we got a new concept box. I want to pass your way and see what you think about the box. Unbox it on your channel, maybe. And I said, send me fishing gear and sure, I'll do whatever. That's fine. <laughs> so here we go. It's, it's a pretty big box. I'm interested, uh, you know, our, our, our nation's mail system didn't treat it very nicely, unfortunately. But uh, we're going to see what's in this box. We're going to check it out and you guys let me know what you think. With this being a new concept box for this company, your feedback's going to be important. So drop me a comment below, share this with people so they can see it as well. well let's tell this company what we think. Good, bad, indifferent. What could they do better? That's what this is all about. Before we get to the unboxing, if this is your first time dropping on the channel, be sure to subscribe if you like this kind of content, reviews, and fishing videos. And then be sure to smash the like on this video. It helps me out a lot, appreciate it. As well as ring that notification bell so you can see when we post more videos. Without further ado, let's see what the heck this box is all about. This is our buck knife. A little fixed blade this time. Change it up, keep it unsafe. That's what we say, right kids? All right, so what am I, what am I to expect out of this thing? Shut the front door. Are you serious right now? Get out. Get out of this house, Chris Jackson. <laughs> what the heck? Yo, did he just send me like some cigars, bro? Straight up. This is a cigar box. Fuente, Fuente. Uh, a Pussex, handmade in Dominican Republic. This is a cigar box from the Dominican Republic. <laughs> what? All right. If there's cigars in here, I'm not going to be mad. I'm like scared. I'm kind of scared to open this. Yes. You, you look first. Do you see anything? Is it dangerous? I don't know. Bro, it smells straight up like cigars. <laughs> what? This might be the strangest unboxing I've ever done. So hang on, before I go any further, I have no idea. There's, there's a thing in here that I'm supposed to read as well. We're gonna figure out what the baits are, all that. Here's, here's my question. Chris, do you have like hundreds or thousands of cigar boxes? Is that the, is that the unique concept? Like you wanna send the baits in cigar boxes? I don't, thought. Processing, you guys let me know. Okay, moving on. So we got a cigar box. We got a little thing here. I was guessing, I was right. Um, hang with me, story time. Hey fishing friends, if you're like me, you've been fishing since you were a kid. Uh, I know for me, that's 50 years now. Congrats, Chris, well, you know, enjoying your, your life fishing, I love it. Uh, yep, I've gone fishing all over the USA, from the Great Lakes to California, ice fishing to deep sea fishing, so we got you covered. Why? Well, I have a network of fishing buddies around the country. We talk fishing wise and well, not bragging, but we know what you should be throwing at bass in Florida to rainbow trout in upstate New York to northern pike walleye in Michigan and Wisconsin. Give me a little shout out to Michigan, all right, I like it. Tackle selection based on region, season, weather, and species of fish. Bold statement. So these here fishing boxes ain't cardboard throwaways with insulting directions on how to fish with this lure. These handpicked lures and baits made by Metz, Rapala, Striking, Lucky, etc. The fishing boxes are sent in an empty, handmade, wooden cigar box. They're literally going to throw these baits in cigar boxes, you guys. You're going to have fancy cigar boxes. Holy heck. These empty, wooden, handmade cigar boxes come specifically procured and polished to rustic from a third generation tobacconist. He's in the good old USA just like us. We use top of the line lures and baits served up in a cool trinket box. So you relax, get your box and fill your stringer with these smoking hot lures from your fishing buddies at Fall Creek Supply. So this is, he did, he did message me beforehand. He did say he had a DBA smoking hot lures, the doing business as smoking hot lures, uh, to which I was like, okay, cool. Like sounds like a cool name. Had no idea. It was literally smoking hot. All right. Uh, fishing tip 50% of all drowned fishermen that fell overboard are found with their pants unzipped. So do not pee over the side of the boat. Uh, then there's a website, fallcreeksupply.com, as well as fallcreeksupply at gmail.com if you guys want to shoot them a message or say, hey, let's get to the contents of the box, the purpose of the unboxing. So 
first off, you know, as, as we've noticed, this is, you know, a handmade wooden box. It's super fancy. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna put cool stuff in it. That's what's up. All right, let's go. So I'm just gonna go top down with this thing. Cigar smell in my office now. <laughs> All right, so off the top, we've got these rubber baits. Pro Series Minnow. So it's a freshwater and saltwater lure company. Interesting. 3.9 inch Minnow Soft Swim Bait with red, with heckin' red to it. Let's see what this is all about. So we've got, oh, this is nice. This is nice. It's a standard little minnow. Something with like decently durable plastic you can throw. I'm not exactly sure what this little packet in there is, is is that like to put your it's like a mesh to put your hook through what is that yeah i'm not sure what this like little piece of red thing is in there but it's interesting to say the least it looks kind of like a mesh or something i'm assuming maybe you put your hook through that and it's gonna stay rigged longer but anyway so not a bad size 3.9 inch you know basically a four inch swim bait here the nice big old paddle tail there, so we can rig this up 27,000 different ways. Uh, drop shot it, swim it on a jig, throw it on a, as a trailer, on a spinnerbait, chatterbait, whatever. We got a lot of options here, so not bad, not bad. Next up, we've got pretty much a, I would say a classic here. So we've got a Storm Wild Eye Live Goby. I think I'm catching the theme here. I'm, I think I'm getting this, like, these are the, these are classics. These are baits that will catch fish not necessarily fishermen or women. So we got this Storm Wild Eye Live Goby. So it looks like a goby. Nasty little critter there, but something that, you know, your bass, your pike are gonna be munching on. Comes in this like brown with green flake kind of color to it. I don't know if it has a name, doesn't, name, is, name of the color is scratched off, no idea. But, you know, pre-rigged. Weighted at the front, like with a jig. So there's a jig just up inside of this plastic here. Got a nice paddle tail to it. Fish gonna eat it. They gonna eat it. I can get behind this. We got a Meps Aglia in here. Classic color. White tail with that little red streak to it. With some silver on the blade. And it's a number three. This is my go-to size Meps. Um, you guys watch any of my river trips, you know that I fish Meps a lot almost as much as I fish a Ned Rig. It's one of my go-to baits because it just straight catches fish, man. If you guys struggle with the MEPS, talk at me. But I can tell you, I got a buddy who struggles with the MEPS a lot and he makes fun of me for using them all the time because all he catches is logs with them. But uh, this is hands down one of my favorite baits of all time. So you got an inline spinner here with a nice big blade. It's a silver blade. Love that. With the white tail and that little that little red stripe there. Looks like an injured bait fish. Uh, they spin perfectly well. They're well balanced. So you don't get hung up as much as you think you would in a river. I'll cast this thing into some pretty dangerous, precarious situations. And it'll definitely catch fish. So this is going to land a bunch of fish for me. Super pumped about that. Like I said, it seems like he's going with just the classics, the things that catch fish, not fishermen or women. Interesting concept, okay, but I'm, I'm tagging along, I'm tagging along. Next up, I've never seen this before, and that means probably a few of you guys in the comments are gonna say, uh, how have you never heard of this brand before? It's a classic, and I'm gonna say, I'm sorry, my bad. Anyway, so uh, this is Rick Clunes Classics, a six to 10 foot diving. This one's called The Freak, and I can tell you why it's called The Freak, because look at that lip. What the heck? That's crazy. So I'm sure this thing has some crazy erratic action, but it's a little miniature crankbait that still dives six to 10 feet. You have the little RC logo right up there on the top. That looks good. Paint job is sick. That is, that is well done. I like that a lot. Got smaller hooks, smaller body, something I could probably definitely maybe gonna be possibly throwing right now in the fall uh no i'll definitely throw this right now <laughs> i think it'll do some pretty crazy stuff with this lip too i'm excited to see how that does hopefully it holds up really well i don't know we'll see interesting bait interesting bait i've never seen something like that before yo the rattle in rapala i can't tell you how many of these are in my grandpa's boat because it was innumerable. innumerable. 
But let me just pop this bad boy out without destroying this thing too much. Because this, this is a classic for sure. So you got that classic Rattle and Rapala lipless crankbait. And it's in blue and chrome. Dude, come on. This is like the most classic of baits. If you just send me, dude, if you just send me like classic baits in a cigar box, I'm in. <laughs> I'm gonna order a subscription for my dad. Are you kidding me right now? All right, so next up we got the Bagley Bang O Lure. Bagley makes a lot of these like super light baits, usually pretty buoyant or made of balsa wood or something like that. All right, so this one says that it dives to about two feet. It says it's a simple cast and retrieve near shallow cover. Uh, so it's gonna be just having some pretty erratic action thanks to that lip there. It's gonna float to the surface, but as you do the retrieve, it's diving down to about two feet and you can get some nice reaction strikes with that. It's got a little tinny rattle to it and it comes in like a, well, three and a half, four inch size there. So pretty nice size. Look at that chartreuse lateral line. You know what they say, if it ain't chartreuse, it ain't no use. Nice detail on it. Bagley makes some solid baits with solid hooks and uh, I can see you catching some fish on this. Again, another classic. You know what, the, the other thing this makes me think about is uh, my buddy Paul, co-host of the Burley Fishing Podcast, go like and subscribe, uh, calls himself an old man fisherman. He's 33, but calls himself an old man fisherman. These are all baits that I 100,000% guarantee he has in duplicates. Uh, not baits that I have because I'm with this like modern fishing era, all the fancy modern baits, right? The stuff that catches fishermen and women, but not always fish. Uh, so I can get behind this concept. I, kinda, I, I like this. I like this. This is refreshing. Speaking of refreshing, we got some power baits. I'm not even going to open this bag. You guys know what power baits smell like. So this is just a five inch stick bait. Comes in purple. Classic color, like little purple June bug. That's what it is. June bug color. Purple and green flake. I'll open it for you. This thing stink. Whew. Woof. Ugh. <laughs> smell so bad. There you go. Now my fingers are going to smell bad forever. But there you go. Super classic stick bait. But it, these things are just juiced up. Max scent. They stink. And fish eat them because they stink. So they're good baits. Classic, classic right there. So what do we get? What's all in this box? Let's take a look. So number one. Fancy, one-of-a-kind cigar box. Number two, we got some plastics, right? So we got that power bait worm. We got our little gobies. We got our little soft bait. That crazy little red metallic thingy in there. I don't even know what that is. We got that crazy, look at that crazy lip right there one more time. That crazy looking crankbait. We got the classic, that rattle and Rapala and that blue chrome. We got another fancy classic, that Meps Aglia number three. And we got another, another classic here with that Bagley Bango Lure. Fancy little stick bait. All right, so we've got a heckin' cigar box full of baits. Uh, interesting concept? I think so. If this were a subscription right now, I would get one for my dad. And I think Paul should get one as well. <laughs> so uh, I can definitely see the appeal to it. We got baits that just straight catch fish. I've been catching fish for years and years and years. Uh, and then we've got, you know, an interesting new kind of concept as far as the box goes. If you guys are anything like me, you've got tons and tons of these cardboard boxes that you've been getting from these other companies for years. I think it's time that we all make a change. Something new has to happen. Is this that answer? I don't know. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. I think that feedback will definitely be beneficial to this company. It's getting Fall Creek Supply. The DBA is Smoking Hot Lures Club, which is interesting. When he first sent me that in the email, I was like, what the heck is this name? Ah, yeah, I got it, I got it, I got it, I got it. So all in all, yeah, so like seven, eight baits. I mean, generally what you're getting in boxes today is six to eight baits, so not too shabby. So go check them out, fallcreeksupply.com. Uh, thanks again to Chris Jackson for sending me this box. Uh, I think it's pretty awesome. I love getting free stuff. I love being able to open it and review it for you guys. And I love checking out new companies all the time. We've got tons of new boxes on the way this month. So stay tuned for that. If you guys like content like this and you want to see what's coming up next, be sure to subscribe to the channel. Smash the like on this video. It helps me out a ton. I appreciate you guys very much. 
for watching today. Be sure to ring that notification bell so you can see when we post more videos, and I will see you guys out on the water.